a Russian opposition leader, Boris Nemtsov, was shot and killed in Moscow. Immediately, the spin machines of the West got busy, trying to say that this was a political assassination by the Russian government. And after these media reports, then we have seen rallies taking place in Russia against the current government there. Russian President Vladimir Putin immediately condemned the killing and said he would personally oversee the investigation into the murder. The reality is that in false flag operations, usually a person or many people must be killed and then the media takes over to stir the emotions up of the native population. Then it is usually a battle between the government under attack and the mainstream media and how many people they can get on the streets to demonstrate against the government or how the media can spin the story to try to put enough pressure on the government to ultimately bring it down. For example, on April the 11, 2002, in a CIA attempt to overthrow Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez, snipers killed 18 people during opposition demonstrations. Immediately, the media spin started accusing Chavez of killing his own people and that Chavez must be replaced. This led to a military coup which at the end would not be successful in overthrowing Hugo Chavez. In 2009, in Iran, via mainstream media and some candidates for the presidential election, there were claims of cheating and demonstrations took place. People were killed during the uproar. One woman who was shot, Neda, became the poster girl for the Western media, symbolizing the alleged oppression in Iran and anti-freedom stance of Tehran. This led to months of demonstrations until with the leadership of Imam Khamenei and the people's stance against some blasphemous acts which took place on the day of Ashura, was Iran able to move beyond this period and prove that it was all an attempt to overthrow the government of the Islamic Republic. In 2011, in Syria, demonstrations by those opposing the Syrian government took place. People were killed in clashes with the government. Then each day, the Western media would zoom in on the so-called lack of freedom in Syria and the violence and show on a daily basis more people being killed and then wave the flag of human rights and say that the Syrian government must go. And from that time until today, some Western countries, along with their Arab regional allies, continue to use plot after plot to try to make the Syrian government to step down. In 2013, in Ukraine, when the former President Viktor Yanukovych decided not to accept the Ukraine-European Union Association Agreement, an economic deal with Europe, but was getting closer to Russia, immediately demonstrations started. Then anti-government protesters were killed and calls for the Yanukovych government to be replaced. And in this case, the false flag operation was successful and the Yanukovych government would be replaced. And in Argentina in 2014, as the Cristina de Kirchner government continues to flex its muscles and try to work for the independence of the Argentinian people, more and more pressure, whether it's political or economic, is coming down on Buenos Aires from Washington. On January 18, 2015, Argentinian former special prosecutor Alberto Nisman was found dead with a gunshot wound to his head in the bathroom of his locked apartment. He had been investigating the 1994 bombing of a Jewish center, which originally pointed the finger at Iran. Upon further investigation, the de Kirchner government demanded an independent investigation and since that time has been under more pressure for those who wanted to blame Tehran. Nisman had just pointed the finger at the Kirchner and said that she and her government were conspiring to cover up Iran's alleged involvement. Right after those accusations, then he was killed. This was an attempt to put pressure on the Argentine government and have it overthrown. Thus, this is the script that is carried out in country after country by operatives wanting to overthrow various governments or just cause chaos in these countries. Just the names change with each script, but the goal is the same. The people of the world must wake up to this Washington and its allies' method of trying to destabilize countries in order to later control them. The independent countries of the world must expose the lies, the games, the loss of life, 
because of political gain before the scenario is played out again in another country, causing more chaos and more importantly, causing more loss of life in order to achieve greater hegemonic control.